The first thing you should know is the basic shapes of your graphs, and that's in section 3.3. If you have the basic graph of the cube root of x, I'm not sure, this probably didn't ask you to graph it, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you as much detail as I can. So zero, zero, and one, one, and negative one, negative one. And then eight, let me see, the cube root of eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is two. So your graph looks something like this. Okay? All right, so whenever you are adding to your x, that means you shift left, in this case, one unit. If you had had a minus one, you would have shifted right. So it's you're shifting left one unit. So if I look at my choices, shift the graph left one unit. Okay, so you know your answer are either A or D. And the other thing you need to notice is that your X, see how your X is positive here? Your X has been, neg has been multiplied by negative one. Whenever your X has been multiplied by negative one, that means it's reflected about the y-axis. So your answer must be uh, D. So the negative x, that's reflect across y. And then the plus one, the plus one means you've shifted left one unit. If you look in the ebook, on page 3-53, I'm in addition 3, but it's right at the end of section 3.4. It gives you a summary of transformation techniques, which is very handy.